Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for our devotional. Today we're in Acts chapter 4, verses 8 through 12, which read this way. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we are being examined today concerning a good deed done to a crippled man by what means this man has been healed, then let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. By him, this man is standing before you well. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. <laughs> I love this. The man who says this is so different from the man standing in the same place just 50 days prior. I mean, remember just 50 days ago, Peter stood before these same guys in the courtyard and denied Jesus three times, <laughs> but not on this day. And what he says is pretty, well, astounding. He makes two incredible statements. In his first statement, he clarifies the, well, the real reason for the inquisition against him. The proposed charge against him is that he is healing in the name of Jesus. Jesus, a man who was sentenced by them and crucified for proclaiming he was God. And while they thought they had successfully sentenced, killed, and buried this man, Jesus is still working and still healing. It's laughable, isn't it? And Peter takes a second to point out the preposterous nature of the present inquisition that they have arrested him and are holding him trial because a lame man who they all knew and had probably even given alms to was healed. <laughs> Peter points out that they have arrested him for doing something good, not doing something evil. Now in his second statement, Peter levels his own charges against them. And what's so incredible about what Peter says is that it's pretty hardcore. I mean, he states that they were called to be the builders of the temple, but by rejecting the cornerstone, who is Jesus Christ, that God now rejects them. And then he drops the mic by calling on the name of Jesus, not only as the name that healed the lame man, but the name that saves all men. <laughs> Do not be confused. This is not Peter saying this. This is the Holy Spirit saying this through Peter. The Holy Spirit is bringing some strong charges against some men that have lied and defiled the priestly office and the Son of God. You know, uh, sometimes I think we think that we have to be the Holy Spirit to others, don't we? We think we have to convict others of what they've done wrong. So we attempt to maybe convict our spouse or our children or our friends or our coworkers. But you know what? The Holy Spirit doesn't really need a lot of help, as we can see here. All he needs is a follower who is available to trust him to speak through him. A follower who is centered on God's will and God's purposes and trusts him to say what needs to be said at the right time and in the right way. And I promise when he speaks through you, it's going to be better than anything you could have come up with anyway, <laughs> right? So today, lean on the Holy Spirit a little bit more. Let him speak through you. Don't speak on his behalf. Well, if you've enjoyed this devotional today, man, just share it with someone you know. I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.